Bub Doe, it's your boy Lil Gross, also known as Big Papa Skeeter. And I'm back, y'all. More content, like I said. So as y'all know, I've signed up with California Wine Club, right? So they're sending me all these cool wines. And um, they send me two wines every other month, you know what I'm saying, for me to try out and to tell y'all about them, right? So today, we have the Delta Reserve, okay? As you can see, I've already cracked it open and everything, man. Saturday was a good night. Uh, and this is a, it's Delta Reserve, it's a Cabernet Sav Savion. It's a Cabernet Savion from Lodi, California, man. A lot of good wines out in Lodi, California, you feel me? That's like, you know, one of the main places for a lot of the different vineyards, so I like it. That's good, that's good. But yeah, I wanted to really just take the time with this content, man, to just kind of walk y'all through certain things, man. So, so one of the themes that I want to highlight going forward is talking about just, you know, authenticity in corporate America, right? Um, it's one of those key buzz terms that, that's floating around now. I think it's important to just really highlight that. As, as most of y'all know who engage with my content, right? I, I'm very much so a city kid, grew up in the hood and all that. The past 12 years, I've been a marketing specialist. I've worked in advertising uh, for McDonald's fresh out of college. Then from there, I moved to Texas. I worked in oil and gas, worked in software. Uh, now I work in automotive, spent some time in freelance, worked at the radio station for a little bit in sales. I mean, one of the things that, that was just was key in my 12 year career was just about um, highlighting my authenticity. Coming straight out of the hood, you know, it, it was always tough to kind of find a way to, to, you know, implement my true personality and my true self into my work life. Um, but, you know, I, I reached a turning point in my career where I was able to do that. And I want to share with y'all a story um, because it's hard, right? When, when you, especially when like, you're a kid from the ghetto and you're functioning in corporate America. But there was a time I was working an event out in Kansas City. And uh, hold on a sec, this wine was too good. I had to take another sip. I was out in Kansas City. It was, uh, they double booked me, right? So a lot of times, cause I'm from the Midwest, they would send me back up uh, to the Midwest for different events. There was an event for some of our clients taking place at the baseball stadium for the Kansas City Royals and then at the football stadium at Arrowhead for the Kansas City Chiefs. So we had two meeting rooms split out and then there was a baseball game going on that, uh, that afternoon or later that evening. And so all day, I'm running back and forth across the parking lot. And this is not a little parking lot, it's a big parking lot. I got on a full suit, dress shoes, the full nine, and just running back and forth across the parking lot, checking on both groups, right? Making sure all the clients get from the parking lot into their seats, uh, make sure they find the right meeting space, make sure we don't run out of food, make sure, you know, just the, the day just flows well, all the meetings, the presentations are good, right? Okay. After the event, we go to the baseball game, I'm wore out, right? I have a social battery, it runs out at about 5.30, right? So I'm really just hyped up, I wanna be my authentic self, man. I'm trying to get back, you know what I'm saying, to me. So I post up in the corner and I'm just like, look, just grab me a beer, all the clients is good, I'm about to sit here, I don't even like baseball for real, but I'm just gonna post up in the corner. So one of the guys was with his wife, he comes over, he says, hey, you've been pretty quiet, I, I wanna get to know you, I, I wanna talk to you. He said, because I, I like to get people to open up and, and tell me more about themselves. And I said, look, man, I was like, I'm normally pretty talkative, but uh, right now I'm just not feeling it. And he said, no, 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 you don't seem talkative. You've, I've been watching you all day. You've been quiet and just kind of in the back. You don't strike me as a social person. I'd like to try to bring that out of you. And I said, look here, bro. Whole cold switching thing just switched up. This is when I used to cold switch. I don't do it as much. You know, it's the beginning of this video I kind of did. Uh, um, but I told him, I was like, look, it's 5.30. I said, the most you're gonna get out of me is old hood stories and, and dirty jokes. I was like, and so I was like, that's all I got though. And he looked at me and he's like, try me. And so we ended up cracking a couple brews, just talking in the back of the suite, like just cracking jokes. Come to find out this man was the vice president uh, for a bank out in uh, Nebraska, but he grew up in Omaha and was from the projects in Omaha. So he grew up around like all black people, right? Go figure. Uh, no, he was a white guy, so that's what, like, it just threw me for a loop. But it was pretty cool because we were able to, like, share stories of growing up and how that applies into the work and, and how it gives you, like, life experience and how it helps with your decision-making when you're placed in leadership roles and all of those things, right? Now, there was another sales guy who was in the room. Mind you, a lot of these rooms, I'm the only black person or I'm the only young black person. So there was another sales guy. And he was in there, you know, just trying to find commonality and relating because we were talking about rap. So he comes over and he starts, you know, giving more surface level stuff. 
None of my business. It's the name of the game. That's how it is in networking. The guy, the vice president, at the end of the night says, I had a, a good time hanging out with you during this event. And, but if you don't mind me saying, I don't want to offend you or anything, but I appreciated hanging out with you because uh, you were authentic and you were your true self. And I can appreciate that. And I know he was kind of referring to the other guy. The other black guy came in on, on some corny stuff, man. So, I mean, I feel him there. But, like, it just told me even further, like, be your authentic self in whatever room you in, man. And you will continue to shine through. So, just something to leave y'all with. As we continue on with California Wine Club, I want to find more ways where I could bridge the, um, like, my corporate uh, experience. Like, in some authentic moments that I had, if you will, where I kind of had to, like, you know, bring Detroit low out. My friends and family know what that means, right? Well... The ones in Detroit understand already, but if you know me for a minute, it's, it's like, oh, if Detroit low comes out, eh, gotta watch it, you know, but make sure you go into the description, man, sign up for California Wine Clubs, man, get your wines today. I like red, as I mentioned, this is a, a Cabernet Sauvignon, I like red, but you can get whites, um, you can get two, you can get a red and a white, you can get two whites, you can get two reds, I chose to get two reds because I'm a red wine drinker. But make sure you click the link in the description and sign up with them, man, and you start receiving your wines now. And then go follow California Wine Club on Instagram and go to the website, California Wine Club. All right? Y'all can make sure y'all check out the show. Y'all subscribe. And then make sure you go to inaudibleruckers.com slash shop. And also check out the Naturally Nay Moisturizer Duel. Go to the Naturally Nay page and subscribe there as well. Everything else is in the description, man. See y'all next time. It's an Audible Ruckus. Motherfucker. We done? We done? Okay. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Look, look, authentic, man. Authentic ain't even a word, man. Hey, Doug.